Yo, what's goody YTBC? What's good, fight fans, boxing heads around the world? Be Marsh with another boxing video. Man, there's a lot of nut ass channels out here, man, who now who jumping on the bandwagon of what the man Bob Aram said. You know, basically saying that the man, a fight between Guillermo Rigondeau and uh, Vasil Lomachenko is a shit fight. You know? Well, these, are, these people who, th who tend to agree with the man Bob Aram, you know what I'm saying? They must not want to see the best fight the best, you know what I'm saying? You check it, if the man Lomachenko is the Matrix, like, like everybody's trying to say, you know, just because of, you know, he beat a man, Nicholas Walters, who ain't come in there to fight, you know what I'm saying? If that man is the Matrix, then what the hell is the man Lomachenko? I'm sorry, Rigondeau, you know what I mean? Fellas like Rigondeau, fellas like Floyd Mayweather, excellent counter punches. They've been doing this, you know what I'm saying? But you know, when Rigondeau, you know, I was watching that broadcast from, from HBO and these guys had the nerve to really, they really had the nerve to compare the man Vasil Lomachenko to a guy like uh, Pernell Whitaker. And they were basically trying to say that the man Lomachenko would beat Pernell Whitaker. You check it based off of six, seven, seven fights in his pro career, maybe eight. The man all of a sudden can beat the man like Pernell Whitaker. You know what I'm saying? Arguably one of the greatest lightweights. The man ain't even never stepped up to lightweight. You check it, fellas was trying to compare Floyd Mayweather versus Lomachenko at 130. Who wins? What kind of nut ass question is that, man? You know, I gotta take it back like this, man. You check it. Yo, it's boxing, you know what I mean? Not every single fighter is an offensive come forward fighter putting pressure on guys, all right? There's some people who are actually professors of this sweet science. Fellas like Floyd, fellas like Andre Ward, fellas like Rigondeau. You check what I'm saying, all right? You could even throw the man Lomachenko if you want to in there, you know what I'm saying? But you can't say this man can beat fellas like Pernell Whitaker if the man couldn't even get through a man like Salido. You check what I'm saying? It's like this, right? For anybody who watches other sports, maybe like NBA or maybe NFL, you know, I'm going to put out the, the, the most popular sports in the United States, right? All right? Okay, check it out, right? You remember um, that Baltimore Ravens team, I think it was in the year 2000, that won that won, they won a Super Bowl with Ray Lewis, and then when Ray Lewis was coming off of that uh, uh, double homicide, you know what I'm saying? Uh, allegedly a double homicide, and, you know, the man got acquitted for that, all right? Then the Baltimore Ravens win that Super Bowl. How they dominate the league that year? How they dominate the league? They dominated the league that year basically with um, defense. You know what I'm saying? Straight up and down defense. You know what I mean? Fellas was kicking field goals. They had a very pedestrian offense. But believe you me, there are people who do like that style of football. All right? You check it. Now you can compare that team to compare to like that '99 team for uh, the what, what you call them? The um, the the. The Los, not, not, not Los Angeles, St. Louis Rams, you know what I mean? Greatest show on turf, you know what I'm saying? When they had fellas like Az Hakim, um, uh, uh, Torrey Holt, Isaac Bruce. You check it, all three of them fellas getting 1,000 yards in the air at the wide receiver spot. Then you had Marshall Falk in the backfield as a running back. The man is getting 1,000 in the air and 1,000 on the ground, all right? That's why they call the greatest show on turf, you know what I mean? These fellas was putting up mad numbers. You can't compare them kind of teams to that Baltimore Ravens team, you know what I mean? It would it'd be, it'd make a great clash in a Super Bowl, though. You check what I'm saying? Offense versus defense. And you see what the New England Patriots did. They, st they stifled that defense of the St. Louis Rams. You know, that greatest show on turf, man, the St. Louis Bill Belichick, and then implemented that quarter defense, more of secondary guys on the field, you know what I'm saying, rather than the uh, big front four guys like linemen, DTs, and linebackers and stuff like that. And them fellas took care of business, you know what I mean? The point I'm trying to make is different kind of styles, you know what I mean? It's just like in boxing, all right? You got fellas like Aris Landy Lara, an excellent counterpunch, a guy who's going to wait for you, you know what I'm saying? A guy who got a vicious left hand, you know, one of the best left hands in the game. The man might not be an offensive juggernaut, you know what I'm saying? But go check his stats. He's actually one of the most accurate fighters in boxing. His percentage is over 50% in almost every single fight, you know what I mean? He was always behind the man Floyd Mayweather where Floyd Mayweather was fighting, okay? This is different kind of styles, and that's what we like about boxing, you know what I'm saying? So don't come here and tell me that such and such is boring. If I thought every single fight, let's say if I thought a, a fight was boring, what's the point of even tuning into the fight? You check what I'm saying? What's the point? You know what I mean? Because, hey, I could say, oh, 
Oh, Rigondeaux, he's boring. Ain't no need to watch his fight, man. That's retarded, man. This is why we watch fights, you know what I mean? And you know, fellas who do put money on, on the books, who fellas who do be betting and put, and put their wages down, they know this because they do this because they know the outcome of fights. You know what I'm saying? That's why we bet on these fights, you know what I mean? We know what we expect going into the fight, you know what I mean? That's like fellas who thought that our Manny Pacquiao would have knocked Floyd Mayweather out. You check it. If you don't know boxing, then you don't know that this fight is going to decision. And Floyd, nine times, ten times out of ten, is going to win on decision. Then you don't know what you're, what you're getting yourself into. You're going to be there waiting for a knockout, anticipating, wetting your pants and shit. But, you know, there's no knockouts going to come. You know what I'm saying? Just like the fight with Luis Ortiz and uh, Malik Scott, man. I knew that fight's going to decision. Put some money on the man Malik Scott to take it the distance. Win, lose, or win or lose. If it goes the distance, I got some guap in my pocket. Now, the point I'm trying to make is, man, there's a million and one fighters on this planet. All single fighters. Don't everybody fight the same. All right? They're offensive guys. Fellas who will come forward. Fellas like, let's say, like a front fora. Fonfara versus Cleverly, you know, fellas with a high work rate, you know what I'm saying? Then there's going to be fights like um, Guillermo Rigondeaux versus Nonito Donaire, you know what I'm saying? Where the man is counter-punching, you check it and then putting the pressure on Donaire, you know, when he hurts the man. It's different type of styles, man, and that's the beauty of boxing, you know what I mean? I'm going to give you another example, like on some NBA, right? And the NBA, okay, uh, let's say, for example, a team like the, the, the San Antonio Spurs, you know what I mean? A team known for basically playing great team ball, all-around defense, you know what I'm saying? Nothing fancy. You can't compare these teams to the Los Angeles Clippers, right? You couldn't, right? You can't, right? But I bet you the, the, the Spurs going to beat them in the playoffs every single time, you know what I'm saying? They're going to beat them every single time, you know what I mean? I think the Clippers did beat them once a year or two ago. Okay, but you know, on the real, the style that the Clippers play, that Lob City, that type of stuff ain't going to fly in the, in the playoffs, you know what I mean? Different styles. They're more of an offensive juggernaut team. The Spurs is more or like teams in the East Coast, the Eastern Conference, like let's say the Boston Celtics when they had KG and these fellas, you know what I mean? You check it. Now, yo, there, there's a lot of different styles, and that's why we watch a clash of styles. You know what I'm saying? Kovalev versus Ward. Excellent counter puncher versus uh, excellent classic boxer versus the puncher. You know what I mean? Classic boxing. You know what I'm saying? This is different styles, and that's what we like. You know what I mean? So, you know, you just have to let everybody know, man. It's different styles. That's why we watch these fights. You know what I'm saying? And for everybody who's there talking about the man Rigondeaux's boring or Andre Ward and all this, then y'all just want to fight, fight. see fighters who just throw, throw blows all the time, and then these fellas ain't really... Um, protecting themselves or so you you know you know in a defensive stance and you know they're not down for the sweet science you know what i mean and that's cool and all i like to watch brawls too you know what i mean glowaki versus hawk that was a great fight you know what i'm saying but i actually my favorite kind of boxing to watch is a tactical fight you know what i'm saying a fight where i can't even blink you check what i'm saying because fellas is really it's chestnut checkers you know what i'm saying fellas is really mindful that one mistake could ruin their night, you know what I mean? That's the kind of boxing I like to watch, you know what I'm saying? So anybody who's there talking about such and such and such and such is boring, I advise you that all these boring fighters, whether you, whether you said Floyd is boring, Andre Ward is boring, don't watch their fights. Rigondeaux, please don't watch their fights because you think it's boring, right? Even though the man Rigondeaux be breaking fellas orbital bones, fellas jaws, putting mutate in fellas faces, then don't watch they fight, you know what I'm saying? Go read the press clipping in the media about what happened. Because you're already assuming and you think that you know what's going to happen, right? Before the fight even happens. You check it, fellas got to keep it 100, man, you know what I'm saying? You check it, you know, if, if such and such is boring, I don't think there's anybody who's boring to me in boxing. Otherwise, I ain't a fan. You check it? Because on the real... I'm going to think about the, the fight a million times before the fight even happens. And I'm going to come to a conclusion that it's going to go down like this, like that, like this, like that. You know what I'm saying? Now, fellas talking about, um, you know, that such and such fight was born. Well, you should have known that. Let's say they said a fight like Guerrero versus, um, um, what's his name? The man Fair Shake, he mentioned Guerrero versus Floyd. Man, you got to know, man, there's levels to this. You know what I'm saying? And the man Floyd Mayweather is a better tactical f technician and tactical fighter than the man Guerrero. We knew that that was going to happen, you know what I'm saying? Berta versus Floyd. I mean, 
that that fight, yeah, I could say that I was boring because the guy Berta wasn't on his on his level, you know what I'm saying? But guess what? I still watched the fight. I still watch the fight, you know what I'm saying? You check it, hey, if I think a such and such fight is gonna be born, then I'm not gonna go into the fight trying to, think, you know, expecting anything more, you know what I'm saying? So that's just my, my two cents, you know what I'm saying, about fellas now coming at Rigo's neck, even though the man Rigo's undefeated and like the man Lomachenko. Yeah, how about that, yeah. The man Rigo still undefeated, still knocking fellas out. Got more knockouts than the man Rigo Lomachenko got fights. So, so what y'all talking about? B Marsh Boxing, get at me, man. Let me know in the comment section what you think. You know what I'm saying? Different kind of styles. I don't want to just see offensive-minded fighters all day, every day. You check it. I like to see also defensive geniuses. One of my favorite fighters of all time is Pernell Whitaker. And... Y'all gonna say it's boring if you do, man, kick rocks and go ahead and take your own life. You march boxing, you're dead.